it's free and um, very powerful and very easy easy to get. So uh, we're gonna, I think, in the next one. Yeah. So if you have computers, be ready when, with your uh, Chrome or browser. So to start downloading the, the MySQL, so to start right right away. And Roman will will assist me in, in some. If you have some questions, uh, he, he will come to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ready? So we will go to Google and type MySQL, and we will look for the first uh, link. Say download. Click there. You go there. Then you go to the Windows tab if you have Windows. Download Windows. Then from there we're gonna go for the installer. This one includes uh, uh, several uh, Mac of features that, that you can get there with the installer. Uh, if you go, if you want to develop a uh, word than today, you probably want to install the whole pack, like the connectors, the work range, uh, or Excel or Visual Studio. But, uh, right now, uh, we're gonna use just a server, so we go for the 253 megabyte file. We will ask you for a uh, login, but you can ignore that and say no thanks. I just just start my download <laughs> and go and go right away and 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 save. So it will be playing again. Going ahead and, and explain some of the installation. So if, if you get, during the download, you can go and, and install it. It will be pretty easy. So once that when when you get it, it will be. As you run it, it will be this this screen of styling. Uh, it's pretty simple as next, 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 basically. So for this, we will only install the server for this particular. Okay. Uh, and like I said, it's basically next, next, next. Yeah. Almost all, all, all the part. Here, sometimes here in the port number, sometimes uh, another program is, is using that port and you need to change it. 3309, and then uh, we'll be asking for the password. I recommend you put a, a really simple password there, so we will use it later on. Then, uh, next, execute, and it will configure your, your MySQL. Uh, you can go your, to your file. All your files and it will be under here with the same thing it's under them but uh will be my SQL the full uh, here the folder will be my SQL. Then we'll be using for this workshop we'll be using the command line client. Once you get there you are good to go. Okay? You type your password and you are my SQL. Very simple, but it doesn't take much. So, there's a lot of data types in my SQL, but I will be uh, focusing more in, in this four, since actually there are the most, most common use in simple applications. Uh, We'll see the int. There, there is a simple number, of, uh, an integer. Uh, it, it can go to the negative uh, this number, to positive this number. It's pretty, pretty big. Uh, you also have a double. It's the same, but uh, we have uh, decimal points there. Uh, it, 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 you can configure the, your your double with uh, this format, and will be the the the, the length. Uh, and, and these will be the decimal numbers that you want to put. So by default, if you put nothing there, it will be 16 the length and um, 4 the uh, decimal point numbers. And yeah, basically that, that's it for the level. Uh, for the day, we have uh, this format. This is the default format for, for the day. The year, month, and day, this particular format. 
uh, and Barter is just um, it's a string a string of characters, right? Uh, so if the max uh, length of a Barter would be 255, it could be the one 255. Also, we have the jar, but uh, that one is just for uh, small strings or just like two two chars, basically. Uh, and the declaration is pretty simple. It's bar chart, and then the, the size that you want to do that a specific, a specific one. So anyone uh, who is still going out now? Just waiting. Okay. Uh, and on the USB? Oh, no, no, it's like nearly done down. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
The zip code? It's a name, right? Integer? The yeah. phone? Probably not, it depends because it has dashes. I don't know. It depends how it's stored. But if you have the dashes, it could be a vector, right? And you have those those little things there. Uh, day of birth? Uh, time stamp? Daytime? Day. It would be a date, right? So, any questions? So we have the employee table, the same thing. We uh, have the, M L the employee ID, that will be aimed, first name, a larger, pretty easy. Social security number, it depends if you want the dashes, if you don't want the dashes, it will be an int or a bar chart. The orders, the same, you can see a pattern, right? So once you get one, you, you can mentally see Let's see uh, how it develops the other ones. So this one is it's a special one because here I'm, I'm referencing an external external uh, primary keys from our tables. So I have the customer ID, I have the employee ID for, for the, my employee table. So I'm, I'm getting, uh, uh, we'll call these uh, foreign keys, these two foreign keys, because uh, these ones are coming from outside, right? Mm -hmm. So I have um, how can I say? I, I I can I can have all this information from these two tables based on, on this ID, right? I, I have the ID one two three for the customer ID, and have this disorder ID. I, I can know who places that disorder, and also I can know uh, who fulfilled it, right? Mm -hmm. And the day that, that it was placed. Okay, we have the product. So the KT will be any small number. It's the same here, it's a number. It can be it can be as uh, also a string, but here's a number for all the product. The description will be a bar chart with a reasonable size and the cost. Will be a double because you have the, the sense and everything, right? And for our card, the same the theme goes for, for this one and this one. You have the point key for the product ID and the order ID. So now you can see, I have the order ID I keep here, got that comes from here, that is pointing to this one. So just with, with uh, with this number, I can get all this information. Okay, I have the point here for the order and the product, and goes to my cart without having to put, to put all, all this information there. So I have a separate table to administer my, my database. So now with the design, would we? Looking something like this. Okay, we have my customers and my employees giving information to my to my order, but also my my order table is giving information to my card. My order and, and product is giving information to my card table. So you can see the connection. Any questions? All clear? Done. Is, uh, is everybody uh, finished with the installation of the MySQL? Yes. yes. Yeah, because kind of that's going to be the same step going directly into the, so, the command. Mm -hmm. So the next step is we'll, we're going to actually build the, the database. This, data, this same database we're going to build on your, on your computer. We're gonna open uh, my SQL command line. Come on, it's the uh, command line command. <laughs> so, command line client, yeah. This one. Yes. So 
So let's go for this one. So if you have the Notepad++ plus plus, uh, program, you can you can download it right now. It will make your life so much easier, like 20 times more easy. What was that called? Uh, Notepad++. Plus plus. Sure. Do you have it there? Yeah. There is. Oh. Oh. Boom. Okay. It's, it's really light and easy to install. Because creating creating uh, statements on the on the command line, it's, it's very it's so yeah you, you waste a lot more of time there. Right? Yeah, that's Over here, the, in using the Notepad++, plus plus, you can, no. you, you have it over there, you just copy and paste it into the command prompt. But if you write directly into the command prompt in the, in the black window, uh, you, 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 you don't have the option to copy and paste it again, so you have to write it on again. So doing this is totally easier, that's why I said that it's your life saving. And it's pretty cool, you can use a Notepad++ plus plus, uh, for programming in any, any yes. language pretty much. You can see here, I have a list of languages. Actually, uh, show them how to change it to, to the one that you're used to. Okay. Um, for this one, uh, if you already have it, you're going to go to the SOSPL. And that's it. So it will, it will detect uh, the keywords. I don't know, from the and, and, and blue. Uh, 
As you can see, we, we cannot create just the ones that have foreign keys related to tables that uh, will not exist. So first of all, we need to create the ones that are, are not dependent on any, any other or, uh, table. So we'll create this one first, and this one, and then our, and the same goes for this one. And the same goes for the interactions of, of data that we, I will show there. Uh, yes, because it's, uh, it's probably you can insert the, the data with the, without, with the foreign key, with the uh, non-existent foreign key, but it will create a, an inconsistent database. You will have a, a data that is in here, but not in here, if you, if you do uh, earlier, earlier. So now we're gonna have the, we have the first one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Another one. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is our, our statement for the create table. So we're gonna actually create the the, the, the customer table, and this is the syntax. So first. We're going to have the name of the, of the column that we want to create. We're going to put a space, the data type that we want to be. Then here, you're going to, you're going to specify if, you, if your uh, column can be new or not. If you, if you want the user or your system to put uh, always a value there, you can specify that with uh, not new. The same goes for every single line. So here I have my ID that obviously, obviously is a name, then a partner for the name. Here I, I didn't put the last name, I just drew a, a short word for that. That L name stands for last name. So, oh, so this one, you need to start it on, on Notepad++ here. As you can see, this is, this is like the big list. It's the same as when you go and try to log in into a store, you, you put all the profile over there. Yeah. So try to use first of all the not plus cloud because it's a big task, so you don't want to be writing down again the same thing pretty much. And, and you, I think that, that the first mistakes and Javier did something that we told yesterday that he was showing this to us. Um, that you make a lot of mistakes in the beginning with code mass or even a name or something. Yeah. Better use a not Probably, I, I, I can say like 95% it's a syntax or a small uh, detail on your, on your typing that mess it up your, mess up your, uh, your query or your database. Uh, so be, be careful with that. So type very slowly because you, you lose, lose a, lot, a lot of time on correcting those. Uh, it would be a last name without like, 
more than 25 uh, characters. I mean, we be necessary, but I just put all the, all the, all the possible uh, space there, just just for to machine error. Yeah, very <laughs> errors of space. So yeah, it can be 25, it can be one, but no less than one, uh, and no more than 25. Do you always have to capitalize? No. I just do it just to see better. No, it's not, it's not required. In, uh, in my SQL, it doesn't matter if you have uh, upper or lower case. Not case sensitive. As long as you write like uh, perfectly get the syntax, it's not a problem. Like here, I didn't put the link in two case. Here I did it on the change it so. Okay, I will give you three three tables and you can we'll go on with the with the uh, two others. So just for practice. You need to practice, okay? And I will put the So here is our design our table. So you can use this to create this. It's uh, you can you can be you can be uh. Using this to guide you. So basically, like like we did in, in the previous slide, like we were just okay. The first name is probably yeah, like you will be a larger, you see it also and everything. And you, you can create like you can create your your uh, statement based on that. And if you if you uh, Make an error on your on your uh, statement. You can also use this one before before your your before your uh, statement. So it, it can delete. Uh, it will remove your your table first and then recreate again. So if you if you do something wrong, you can put this first and then put everything else. The corrected version and everything. Why do you have to put no no? No no. Okay. Uh, the only way if, if, if you don't want to, to uh, the table don't want to uh, don't have a blank space there, so always have uh, some information there, like the customer that like the ID you don't want to be moved any, so never want to be moved. So it's required. It's required. Yeah. They won't allow it to enter unless you have it. Yes. So basically, you, you can see. Uh, like a, a, a form when you, you log into some to sign up to a page it this is the information that they they ask for so you can with this uh database knowledge you will probably combine it with a uh, a or you know, with php and start your application pretty easy yeah whenever you try to enter your password or something like that it'll tell you that that you have a mistake to put your entry wrong it's because It's a very great tip. Whether or not it just uh, if you made a mistake at first, it will be 
delete the table first, and then and then uh, we can put the corrected version here and start start over. If you made a mistake, where? Um, no, here in your syntax. Oh, okay. It's because um, when you when um, well, okay. <laughs> it's because sometimes uh, you have uh, a table already in the in the system, mm -hmm. so when you you have to to that's to differentiate that you want this table to stay, not the other one, because. Uh, you're going to enter a new data. That's why it's uh, you. You're using drop if it says customers. Mm -hmm. Drop the table, delete the table. Yeah, because otherwise it won't let you. Yeah. Because you, you try to recreate it again, it's going to say, but you already have a table. You already you have a customers. table. Uh, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the one that's so been dropped. Sorry. The one that's been dropped is the old one. Is the old one. And you want this one. If you have it. Uh, yeah, it's mostly for the columns, right? Like, say you change a column and you just want to get rid of all of it, then. Yeah, like, let's say I, I want my, my phone number to be in it instead of partner. So I can go and change it. And then and then open it first, delete that table that I had, and then put the new one with the, with the inter. Yes. And is the property that one that is in a clone from another table? 
for the foreign key, there is Well, that you create table and everything. So a little trick is looking at the similar tables. Like you can say the employee ID and product ID is kind of similar. One name, two bar charts, and let's say this one is the most different the cost from the social security. So I I can copy Up your your whole uh, statement production by by double. So I just need to change the product ID. Um, I have model number. Are you? 
super fast, super easy. Just keep that in mind if you see something uh, close. Similar to each other, you can copy, modify it really quick, and then create your table. Oops. 
information to your database, but this is the very basic form of, of, of GUI of, of showing of uh, the common name. So we have our, our employee ID, the last name, the first name, and their social security number. So this, will, this is how actually we look in on your SQL common line. But you, you can also have some uh, uh, like some external uh, application to display and nicely. You, have, you already have the information in there, so you can create like you want, right? Does the syntax for the statement, so I would go to go. So you have all your statements here. If you have any questions about any statement, you can go to the WSB tools and how do I insert information to my database? I will tell you. So, because it's your insert statement. Single, single one. So if I put the first name here and the 
last one is about to be the last name for that one. And also three, probably two, probably three. Yeah. Right. So let's say you can go here, here there will be the same text for the So basically here it's a good resource for does it, statement. Does it drop drop uh, drop text is does it have a semicolon at the end or not? Yes. Yes. So factor database. So you have orders and everything? Oh, you can create that one. You can use this one. You can like the one that I do here. So you, you can tell here, uh, product is will be a mean, the model number also can be a mean, description, barter, the cost, the double. So you go here and change the values there. You will have your, your table. What's the difference between double and float? They're, yeah, they're, mm, they're pretty similar, but they have a, like, some, like, some difference in the, the, the decimal point. So we would just, uh, yeah. we would just use double, just double. Yeah, double, fine. Uh, yeah, it, it has some trade off using plus and double, uh, and have right now, but yeah, okay. basically the same, but it's different. Thank you. 
Which one are you referring to? Look? Or this one? For the last line, you have to write a comma as well. No, no. Yes. And then the, the primary key is that one is the, the end of the statement. So let me show you. Insert, update, and delete. They are pretty uh, descriptive. You insert, you put information into your database. Update, you put new information. You, you, you update your information. So it's a regular database. And delete is to delete the, the record that you want on your database, right? So let's see. I want to insert uh, information into my database on the customer's table, <coughs> like they say it on the, on the, on the, uh, before. So before, we have to specify the, the, the columns, 
and then the values in the same order. I have the customer ID here first. When we check the values, I need to put the, the same one first. And for the last name, my last name, first name, and my first name, three. So all, all that information goes goes to the, the same slot as, as the column up on top. Try to insert a single record to each table, or probably at least three, so we can go moving forward. Done with the inserts? Yeah. You're done. Yes. Yes. Uh, at least they, if they have a, 
these three tables should be mine. Yes, uh, so you could bring these, these two pairs of uh, information that goes into you from, from this piece. Yeah, well, they only the last three. Yeah, the order is Okay, this one. Okay. Let me put the Everything fine with the uh, with the insert? questions? Here's your basic syntax for insertion again. Insert into the keyword and your table name, whatever your table name is. The name of the columns that you want to insert. Obviously, you have uh, none of those tables. You, you should put something there. And the values, uh, the values that you want to put, the one that I have in my, in my presentation. So if you are, if you already have inserted three three values, like one value in each, uh, at least three tables, it should be fine. We it should be okay to go to keep on.
SQL. Just create database and the name of it's just that we close it down. So yeah. Oh, okay. No, if you, you already have your database there, so oh, we okay. use uh, the name of your, your database. Oh, okay. Do you want to copy paste? Yeah. 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 I chose? Awesome. Is the one that I chose. And with the semicolon? Uh, yeah, with semicolon. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. You can use like that. Uh, that and then we can enter your last. It will keep going until you put the assignment form. Okay. So if you already have a, a value or a few values in your tables, I will show you how to update them. If you want to see the values there first. First of all, if you, you want to see those values, you can do a, a select. <coughs> the starting case that uh, you are selecting all the columns that you want. Like if you're not specifying a, a single set of, of columns, you're, you're saying I want to select all these columns from and table names. It's very simple. Just like that. Questions?
So now you can do it. Yeah, I can find the. Okay. The biggest problem. Uh, when you look over the smallest. Go right. Oh. Start from the table name. Oh, that's that's the <laughs> thing. Uh, because you can you can start with the table name or the uh, table that you just mm -hmm. take the same the table. But you have to be all the time. Uh, and, and when you're inserting, be, be careful uh, on putting the, the unique key uh, there. So you you put, put that you unique key there. So you don't collect in the other one. Yeah, yeah, be you. careful. Just put that you can type. Yeah, so that's 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 a benefit of being non programming. They know how to do this stuff, just take it easy way. So that's it. Can you write right there? Great. Do you need inserts? Great. Do you need inserts? Page 16. Yeah. You get used to it. You, you'll see that there's many things that are kind of the same. You really just need to refer to the same. So here, this one, one, uh, one, uh, one, one, one of my friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I said, the energy is kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. hard to yeah. You'll get used to it. It's a dog. Yeah. That's a way to learn something. Walking around. Yeah. It's the coolest game. Have you ever heard of it? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
probably the hacker just would see just IDs and numbers and everything, but it will not see the, the actual values and, and stuff, so you can hide information using the your design. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> To update the let's say the color red. So this can be taken to. Uh, right now it's not projected. It'll be on the server side here. Here I'm, I, I'm having my uh, my information. I, I have my my user and my password. I can protect this. Okay. So you have to put it in there, and then you have your own password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll be letting, uh, the protection of your of your service and other calls. It's another whole branch. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you can have your database, but then just protect it. You have to build another kind of system. Yeah. Another system to protect the database. Mm -hmm. And can you just build your database and something to protect your database, or you have to build it yourself? No, you can you can have someone someone to. To give you a guide and some some uh, Also, as you know, this you can do a web app. Yeah, right now you uh, have an idea of the backing of so your web app. Like, that I was never thinking. Just you need to learn uh, some 
from the language like CSS or Bootstrap. Yeah. And then you can connect both together and you have an application. So we have the speakers from the So we have the uh, I think <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 29. 29? In the side, so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, um, in this is one. This is using the same things that I'm 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 showing right now. This is the the code. I have the the select. I have a but it's a little bit uh, modified uh, for the for the Java to understand understand it. This one is like like. It just it, this one is it works like a search engine, so it's it's a different uh, type of query. Uh, delete the ones that are delete from, and I have where, and I, I have the, mm -hmm. all the parts I'm doing down there. Uh, so everything from start. So it's the, exactly the same things that I'm, I'm looking, yeah, yeah, yeah. looking right here, and. Estás usando Eclipse. Eh? Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just uh, giving some explanation about what I did. So if I, I, I want to check, uh, search for a uh, pin number that has one, two, three, search, you know, will give me the value and I can go back without putting the exact value. <laughs> So, I think we're going for the update. So you yeah, were able to insert the values. What, can you show the, how you insert the values? Here? Yeah, can you go into one that you the station data first? Data first? Oh yeah, this is yeah, the format. The forum, yeah, that's the format pretty much. So maybe you're missing, how oh, you're missing something. You got to take watch this right Oh no, better not. Okay, so we're going to go with the update. So for the one that the, the record that you inserted there, if you want to look at your at your record, just use this one, this format, and you will be able to use it to see it. So now you you can use the. So now let's assume that a customer made an input error on its day of birth and we need to correct it, right? So we have uh, for the syntax we have to put the table name, the column name and uh, the new value where you are telling uh, which ID you want to or which uh, attribute you want you want to do this for, for comparison because it can be more than one so if you let's say you want to the day of birth of every person that, uh, first name is, is one you can put where, where first name equals one would change the, all, the, all, the, all the values for that one so for this for this uh, particular reason, we're 
looking just for one one person, and we will use his uh, customer ID, and then uh, for for the set uh, date bird, we're gonna put a new date there. In this case, for each line, you're gonna separate with a comma. Mm -hmm. mm, no. Uh, I think no. No. Okay. Yeah. So you, you need to check for the one that you put there. It's this one that you so use the one that you, you put it in your in your database so you can update it. No, it can be it can be in any anything that you want. So if you like like a like name, yeah, you can check if you want to change all the all the date of birth or I don't know all the uh, last names of uh, every person that uh, it's named it one. Where you can put where first name equals a single person oh, one, it will change it uh, this, this column to that value. So now you just click on that in customer right? Yeah, wherever you want. This one, if you want to do a single uh, and a specific uh, yeah. right. ID or customer. So now open break look. And then it's under this. So the same as you did, as you lost the P and everything you set up the table, the same for the So you you want to set up less than the previous cost. Yeah, it will probably take the same thing as you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do an update of like several columns or like several rows? You can. Yeah, like. Like I said, right? yeah. the one you, you specify the, the name and then the change. So also if you want to select a specific uh, customer, you can do a select from and then add the where, where customer ID is or whatever, and we'll select that, that specific one. For the uh, where it says where, uh, you have to for the value you have to put in quotation. Only uh, it depends on the data type. Okay. It's, it's the same thing. Uh, if it's a name, you just you just put the number. If it's a name, you put the single quote. Okay, so it's a quote. Oh. Okay, so it's a quote. Uh -huh. 
en la escuela y te moviste de casa eh, vas a hacer la óptica yeah, since you have an ID attached to you they just look your, 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 your oh, ID okay. or you have the student ID or yeah, so with the ID comes up your old information mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and then you put the new and generate yeah, you can, you can do a select select uh, if you want to select you can do a you don't specific have, you don't columns. Have to enter, like all the for the employee, you have to enter all, all the stuff. Okay. Because if you run, run like that, the, it's going to tell you that you have to see it. And you don't have to replace it to the employee, you don't have to replace it to the lab name. So just choose, it's going to be the ID lab name for them, so you can search it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's less among the more that you have to do. Uh -huh. okay. But yeah, you can run this girl with the template. Yeah. 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 Pero tú estás hablando de los, de los computer uh, engineers que están hablando. No, 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 hablo de la gente que van a hacer ahora. Ah, como, puta, ellos no hacen esto. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 yo sé. Sí, 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 tienen como un preset, como WordPress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like the query is attached to a... Yeah. Even in Craigslist, you can, you can do the, they do like, uh, that, this kind of stuff. When you, when you, if you type a star on the, on the search, the, it, it search everything. So it's a select, and then the, the space for the input, and then from, and it goes from there. Yeah. So if you put the star, it selects everything. So básicamente lo que está haciendo es que no saben hacer. Sí. Ah, también. No, y sabes que he notado que salen glitches o salen con palabras cuando usas WordPress porque sí haces input a info, pero a veces cambia los. No sé, cuando pones un un texto luego sale con letras que no tienen sentido. Como tú me explicaste. No, como las que le pusiste, ¿te acuerdas pues, que estás haciendo copia de RDP? Que le pusiste como lo hace la gente que trabaja ahí, que nada más hace copia. Ah, bueno, sí, ah, sí, salen esos glitches. Y luego, bueno, no, 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 so if you're done with the update, you're going to do a uh, uh, delay? No, it must uh, be from it, uh, from that spot. So I just put the same thing as an opt-in information. You know, I'm allowed to opt-in, but it has to be a command. So it has to be a command. So it has to be a command. 
So we are done with the update, yeah. you know, ahead with the release of the primary card. So the important thing here is that the primary key is not a foreign key from another table. So because if you delete, uh, uh, let's say you delete a, a customer from a, the customer table, and you have a, a, an order from that customer, who, like, you will point it to nothing on the, on the table. So you, you will have an order for, for, for nothing. For now and yeah. So you wouldn't know who, what to speak or what to do. So yes. It's a ghost. Uh, now let, let me let me see. If you, can you can you pull the updates? Yeah. Oh sorry. Um, let me just like. Yeah. 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 Where's the seven do? If you deliver the uh, uh, somebody no. you can. You can you can send it to a backup uh, database, uh, like table. Yes. You can put, In case you yeah, want to put it there and then you can put it back. But before you delete the record? Yes. You can, uh, they, they are kind of triggers, so it should be, you can set so, up a trigger to stamp the delete the, the, the command goes in. So the trigger and then the trigger loves all the operations. So yeah, it's another. Here again, uh, all the things that we saw today are the, the same things that you can use for, for small applications, for applications. Which one? This one? Uh -huh. Okay. The yet? Oh, it's uh, it's, it's this format is it's coming from Java. I did, I, I wrote it in, in Java. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there, you want to use the tool that they have Yeah. Yeah. If we, it's it's yeah. You need to you need to create. It, it can be yeah, Python or you need you need you to adjust the connector. Yeah. For those, the ones that we didn't start this time, it's a MySQL connector to, I think, uh, Java and Python connector, so you can write, uh, write the Python and put the connector to some stuff. Mm -hmm.